Ladies and gentlemen, there's a an FBI lawyer under criminal investigation, John Durham, William Barr. They all know why he falsified information uh, pertaining to the FISA application. Let's just read this Washington po Washington Times article. FBI lawyer suspected in Russia probe origin was kicked off Mueller team for anti-Trump texts. Then they find out in Michael Horowitz's recent report that he falsified information. Now he's under criminal investigation. You don't think he's going to flip and sing? So eventually, when he gets indicted, because McCabe's going to get indicted, just a matter of when. Eventually, when this guy gets indicted, he's a lower, he's not McCabe, he's not Comey, he's not, uh, he's not even Peter Strzok. He's a lower-level FBI agent who will take the fall, almost certainly take the fall. And he didn't do this for his health. There was a, a, a not, maybe not a directive, but there was an understanding among all the FBI there that they had to take down the Trump administration. This wasn't just, you don't falsify information for your health. So let's just, it was reported that Mr. Durham is probing whether an FBI lawyer falsified an email that was used to obtain a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act warrant to surveil Mr. Page. Mr. Kleinsmith was the primary FBI attorney assigned to the Russia probe in 2017. He also served with the FBI's National Security and Cyber Law Branch. He left the Bureau two months ago after he was interviewed by Justice Department Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz. The, uh, the purportedly altered document was uncovered in Mr. Horowitz's probe into whether the FBI... Okay, surveilled... Okay, Mr. Kleinsmith was briefly part of the Mueller team, but resigned in February 2018 after Mr. Horowitz identified him among a handful of FBI officials who expressed animus towards President Trump. How on earth? Peter Strzok and Lisa Page were also identified among the agents who sent anti-Trump text messages. They also departed Mr. Mueller's team. How do you have the top FBI agents... Kleinsmith, Strzok, Lisa Page, who all wrote anti-Trump text messages, literally giving their motivation to undermine Trump's administration. And then you find Kleinsmith, who falsified documents. I mean, you don't think that John Durham is already looking into this and saying, okay, this is the first person we indict. So whether, whether people get indicted, see, Democrats always brag and boast, that, oh, wait, wait, there's 34 people indicted in the Mueller probe. Yeah, on process crimes. The, the accusation, the reason the probe was started is because Trump was supposed to work with Russia to hack the DNC to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated. And by Facebook ads, that never happened. He never worked with Russia. Mueller found nothing. Could you imagine if the same tactics were used against um, oh, I don't know, Brian Pagliano, Clint, the, the, the guy who set up Clinton servers, or even people like uh, Kevin Kleinsmith. But he was already let go. He was already interviewed. Now there's an issue of perjury. He better have the same story. He'll almost certainly get interviewed again by Durham, but let's continue. The special counsel's office at the time downplayed Mr. Kleinsmith's involvement, portraying him more as a bit player, not key for its roster of prosecutors and federal agents. The officer, the office said he was never detailed to the special counsel, but remained an FBI agent who supported the investigation. Yeah, right. This guy falsified claims, falsified an email that was used to obtain a foreign intelligence surveillance court warrant. This is a Washington Times article, November 22nd by Jeff Mordock, November 22nd, 2019. Now, there are other, um, there are other email, uh, other articles regarding, uh, oh, low-level lawyer Kevin Kleinsmith. This is the New York Times. They always, they always try to, to, um, they're always trying to they're always trying to mitigate so i mean horowitz will have something for everybody he'll he'll have something for the democrats but the actual like if the tables were turned they would never stand for falsified um falsified statements to surveil hillary clinton's campaign but again that's not the way the media works uh, Daily Mail, but say agents did make mistakes. 
Singled out is Kevin Kleinsmith, who faces a criminal probe for allegedly altering an email used as part of an application for a FISA warrant. You can't get out of that. So Durham looks at that and says, okay, why was that happening? When he gets, let's just say if he gets indicted, but also when he gets indicted, because you can't do that. You, you can't falsify information that's against the law. That's what, that's, that's what exonerates people. Like, you know, you, you put people away and that's like one of the most evil things, probably perhaps the most, one of the most evil things you could ever do is put people away based on falsified information. Single out is Kevin Kleinsmith who faces a criminal probe for allegedly altering an email as part of an application for a FISA warrant. This is the Daily Mail. So, on November 27, 2019... The report faults Kevin Kleinsmith, 37. I love how they put his, his age. Like, what is that? Why does it matter? An FBI lawyer accused of altering an email that was part of an application for the FISA warrant. Kleinsmith is now the subject to criminal prosecution. How much you want to bet that the low-level person gets it before everyone else? So, and this is, this, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is only, like, this is not everything they know. This is certainly not everything they know. So when people say, well, you know, the IG report, um, the IG report is, you know, that, that'll put everything to bed. No, you're going to have Judicial Watch. You're going to have um, uh, John Durham. You're going to have William Barr. You're going to have the actual Justice Department. Trump's going eight years. You think that he think you think that he's not that Trump doesn't know exactly who Kevin Kleinsmith is? He probably Trump, President Trump probably dreams of Comey and McCabe and Strzok. You know how like when I bring this up and I read public record evidence, Trump has classified data, and he thinks about it a lot more than I do. And I talk about this stuff all the time. So multiply me and my writing times a thousand, and you have maybe one tenth of how President Trump is. But, you know, Horowitz cautioned at the time he had shielded certain names of people. This, okay, so Klein Smith is kicked off. This is hilarious. This is really hilarious. He, he says, oh my God. He insults Trump, uses, um, he, ha he had a lover at the FBI too. Oh, this is crazy. So his lover texted back, um, insulting Trump. I don't even want to say it on this channel. Better win, otherwise I'm going to be walking around with both of my firearms. Oh, interesting. And then you want to take away the rights of others to, to, to uh, open carry. That's fun. That's fun. So they, they're, they're, they're. They're, they're saying that if Trump wins, you know, they're going to really protect themselves. Thanks for letting everyone else protect themselves. That's great. Um, so this is hilarious. He also, so it was Strzok and Page and then Kleinsmith and another person. I think that they actually have the person's name. I forgot the person's name. But Kleinsmith is now subject to a criminal prosecution. You want to bet that he gets... Okay, so he gets prosecuted. They're going to give him a deal. Just like they tried... I mean, why is it... In, it's interesting. They always said Papadopoulos and Flynn and, and Carter Page and everybody are going to flip and sing, flip and sing. Manafort, the guy, actually committed crimes but had nothing to do with Trump-Russia. So they got him on something. They wanted retribution. You don't think Trump is going to get his retribution? With, with By the way, they actually committed crimes with Trump. They actually committed crimes against Trump. The difference is that the retribution that Democrats Democrats got their retribution based on gossip, hearsay, altered evidence. Trump's going to get his payback based on what they actually did to him to break laws. That's why people with with Trump Comey is uh, McCabe is under criminal investigation because he lied to prosecutors because he was compromised directly relating to his 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 activities against Trump. He everybody knows that McCabe's spouse got hundreds of thousands from Democrats and Terry McAuliffe in Virginia, which compromised him, which gave him the incentive to go after Trump. That's directly to do with Trump. Kevin Kleinsmith has text messages along with his lover or whatever person he's dating. 
And then he falsifies uh, evidence to investigate Trump. And now he's under criminal investigation. Uh, Andrew McCabe was under criminal investigation. James Baker's under criminal investigation. Peter Strzok says, we will stop Trump. Kevin Kleinsmith has a whole bunch of hilarious things he says, along with others about Trump. There's anti-Trump text messages. where they just, I mean, the culture there is stop Trump at all costs. So then Horowitz kind of like throws them a little like, oh, well, you know, we couldn't find any institutional bias. So it's not with the with the with the with the Clinton email probe. It wasn't there was no bias. It was prosecutorial bias. You they add something before the bias, and it's like a subset where even if there are text messages saying, you know what, Trump is horrible, we have to stop him. If there's not that specific type of bias, now well, you know we can't we can't categorically say that the entire institution was against Trump. And that's the, that's, the, that's the funny thing about all of this. The funny thing about all of this is that if the tables were turned, they would never in a million years, they would never in a million years, never in a million years would they allow the same treatment. The treat, they would never allow treatment of Clinton, the same treatment of Clinton. They would never allow that. By the way, happy Thanksgiving. Definitely don't talk about any of this stuff during Thanksgiving dinner or lunch, but um, or you know, at this point, when you see this, it might be dinner. But um, Kevin Kleinsmith is not in a very good place because you have situ- you have a situation now where D- the Durham probe is just really starting. It started. It's a criminal. It just became officially a criminal probe last month. So, and this is going to go well into the the Clinton email investigation began in two thousand seven fifteen, in March, essentially March of two thousand and fifteen. So yeah, it was it was essentially March of two thousand fifteen. Then you have two thousand sixteen, then you have two thousand seventeen, two thousand sixteen, and then it ended in in June of two. So it was about it was over a year. It was over. It was a good year. Okay, Durham, the criminal probe just started, basically. So you're looking at well into, well after, long after, the the um, the election, 2020 election. So the key thing here is that Clinton's going to run again, and she's going to lose to Trump. That's what's going to take place. There's not, it's not going to be Biden. They're not going to stop Trump. And the political will that he will have, you'll have Democrats. You'll have Democrats who want um, Klein Smith and McCabe and, and, and Comey and all of them. I mean, McCabe should be prosecuted prior. He was already recommended for He literally lied under oath three times with the intent to deceive, so I don't know what more they want. Klein Smith, if, if what's true... If it if it's true that he falsified evidence, it's game over. Then they're gonna say, "We'll flip and sing, and we'll hook you up with a plea deal," which is exactly what they tried to do with others with Michael Cohen. So, except Michael Cohen, <laughs> it, he he pled guilty to things that Trump didn't do. So, I mean, the the Democrats, in addition to having um, their own Justice Department, which they say, oh, yeah, well, that's why Attorney General Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton to speak about golf, Brexit, and grandchildren. Oh, so autonomous. And then even James Comey stated he didn't trust the Attorney General, and the Attorney General said that Comey was lying under oath regarding uh, having him call, call the Clinton email probe a matter that made him feel queasy. So the whole thing's a bunch of nonsense. The whole thing is a complete bunch of nonsense. Like I said, people, ima- imagine me the way I talk about all of this, my writing in the Federalist, the Daily Caller, the Jerusalem Post. Multiply me times 10,000, and you'll have one fiftieth of how Trump <laughs> feels about all of these people. With this guy, Kevin Kleinsmith, it's not good. 
because he's not a high-ranking per- person. It's not good for him. And Durham, William Barr, and especially the president of the United States of America, President Trump, even though they don't want to admit he's president, then he's not going to... There's certainly not going to rest until they get exactly uh, the equivalent of what they had experienced. And what they had experienced was complete fabricated nonsense. So imagine, Durham has criminal uh, has criminal uh, actions and behavior to deal with. They didn't. They just set up and framed people. Oh, you forgot this email? Look what they did to Papadopoulos. If you read Papadopoulos' book, he didn't lie at all. He just didn't remember when he wrote a certain email. That's it. That's it. And they said, well, he, he, he lied under oath. That's it. And they tried to get in with obstruction of justice for deleting a Facebook page. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Then you have FBI agents falsifying evidence. Give me your thoughts below. Um, give me your thoughts below. It's game over for certain FBI agents. Give me your thoughts. Thank you so very much. Um, John Durham, don't play. So check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now regarding um, (laughs) Joe Biden's fantastic and amazing and brilliant son. Give me your thoughts. Thank you.